In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create click-to-call, click-to-text, and click-to-email links and buttons in Kartra. In order to create a click-to-call link or button, you need a URL that is a TEL URL, and that is TEL colon followed by the phone number that you want uh, the person's browser uh, to trigger a phone call to when they click the link or the button. To send a text, the URL is SMS colon followed by the phone number to receive the text. And for click to email, you use a mail to URL, and that is mail to colon followed by the email address. And then if you want to set um, a subject line automatically for the email that's uh, created, you put in question mark subject equals and then the subject line uh, replacing spaces um, because spaces are not allowed in URLs you replace the spaces with percent two zero or percent twenty so mail to colon uh, email address optional question mark subject equals and the subject with percent two zero in, in instead of its space so how do we actually create the links and buttons so for the links, uh, the links are pretty easy. I'm going to copy the URL that I wanna put into the link. I'm going to select the link text that I wanna turn into a link. Uh, for uh, click to call and click to text, uh, you use protocol as other which just means it's not going to pre-fill a protocol. It's going to take the one directly from the URL that you type, so TEL or SMS colon and the phone number. And this one works the same way. Oh, we need... Oh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> Copy... link other paste there is our sms so there are the first two so that if you look in the lower left hand corner of the browser there is our telephone link lower corner verifies that that's our sms link uh, for uh, mail to links the text link builder actually has a special builder for building email URLs. We can set the link type to email. It prompts us for our address. So user at example.com. And then for our message subject, we can say like website contact and then click OK. And now this is, if you look in the lower left hand corner, we have a mail to URL. So that's how to do the click to call, click to text, and click to email links. Next up is buttons. To create these buttons, I used this button rounded with uh, rounded corners and an icon, and then I just drag that out into my page builder. And then for the click to call, I'm using the phone icon. For click to text, I'm using the mobile phone icon. And for click to email, I'm using the envelope outline icon. And I'll show you how those get set up. So uh, the only thing I changed on the style is I set it to center. Otherwise, I'm using all the defaults. Uh, you can change the, the normal parameters, spacing, um, color, and so forth. Um, you want to do that before you add these URLs to the button because anytime you edit any aspect, you will need to uh, go and reset the link um, by editing the, the section HTML, and I'll show how to do that in a moment. So then on the text tab, you set the t your button text here. For your icon, you set your icon here. 
You can use the search function. So for example, if you're looking for the envelope icon, you can just type in the prefix, uh, unique prefix, and there's the envelope icon that I used for the click to email. In this case, it's click to call. I'm using the phone icon. Then in the link, you'll need to set custom URL, but you'll see there's no other option here like there was for the text links. So what we have to do is we have to put in a placeholder URL, uh, and then we will have to edit the, the page HTML. Uh, I'll show you exactly how to do that, so don't worry. Uh, as the placeholder, I like to put in ex.com slash and then the the URL. Um, this one is actually the TEL example. So this is going to be our placeholder. Again, it's custom URL is the type. We'll apply that. We'll edit this one and make its link custom URL again ex.com and then our actual what our actual URL is going to be and then we're going to need this URL to edit this one go to our link custom URL, ex.com slash, and then our URL, apply that. And then I need to go to the section tools. Um, in case you're not familiar with the section tools, this little gear icon opens it up. Um, you, you might not always see it. If you don't see it, move the mouse around to the vertical midpoint of the section you're editing. Every section has its own section controls at the vertical midpoint on the right hand side of the page builder. Click on that to open if it's not open. And then we need to edit the source code. So just single click anywhere in the source code. Uh, you can type uh, control F if you're on Windows or command F. And then we're going to look for our placeholders. So the first one, um, I'm going to search for com slash tell. And then we here we see our placeholder where I put in the placeholder URL. We don't want the HTTP part. So I'm going to click here uh, right before TEL and remove the placeholder portion so that we just have our TEL link. Now I'm going to search for the SMS placeholder. We can see here, I've clicked before the SMS, again, remove the placeholder. And now I need to fix my mail to link, which is right here. Remove the placeholder and save that. And now, when I mouse over the click to call icon, if you look in the lower left hand corner of my browser, you'll see that it's now a telephone URL. Now we've got an SMS URL for the click to text, and we have the mail to URL for the click to email button. There's one more thing you can do uh, so that you don't have to recreate these buttons manually each time. If you go over here to the section tools, you can save section as template and it will save that section. And then when that's done, when you're editing another page, you can go to the sections, go to favorite blocks, and now this section is available. You can drag it onto your page, and then you can, um, if you need multiple copies, you can clone 
the pre-existing button and then you can drag them to wherever you need them on the page. Just remember that anytime you apply an edit to a button it's going to uh, it's going to break the URL um, that's assigned to it and you will have to go back and put in your placeholder and then re-edit your source code to fix the URL. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.